Hello and welcome to week 14 of 5 and 5 presented by BetMGM. I'm Darren Rebell, joined by my colleague, the sharp Chris Raybon. I am very square, if you can't tell. Uh, and we are back for another week. Now it's week 14. Last week, just to give you an update, uh, Chris went 2-1 and one, and I went 1-1. One and one. Uh, Not a bad week for both of us. So uh, through 13 weeks, I am 12 and 14. I know, scary, especially after starting 0 and 6. And Chris is 21, 16 and 2 on the season. A reminder, we are sponsored by BetMGM, the king of the sports books. Uh, if you are new, use the code ACTION and you can get up to $1,000 risk-free bet by using the code ACTION on BetMGM. All right, let's start it off. Five picks, five minutes. Where, where are you starting, Chris? <laughs> I'm going right back to the Detroit Lions, minus two and a half at home against the Minnesota Vikings. Although the Vikings are 10 and two, I think the Lions are the better team. Detroit is 13th in overall DVOA. Minnesota is 20th. And the Lions are up to 19th in defensive DVOA, which is essentially tied with Minnesota. Uh, Detroit loves to blitz. Cousins grades out as a bottom five quarterback against the blitz this season. Lions have a plus four point differential at home, minus seven on the road and Minnesota just 5 13 and 1 28 percent against the spread on the road coming off a win with Kirk Cousins it's gonna be Detroit minus two and a half I think this is the this is the sharpest sharp bet out there but actually it's not like one of those that I get angry at because it's sharp just to be sharp ha 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 I know what I'm doing it actually does make sense so I'll go with you there I am going with the New England Patriots minus one and a half um, against the Arizona Cardinals for Monday Night Football. The Arizona Cardinals are the most messy team in the N- in the NFL. I mean, what a disaster they are. Like, it feels like no one's trying. Cliff Kingsbury doesn't have anyone together. Uh, I feel like they just want to just finish out the season, and if they could have the mercy rule at, at every halftime, they would do it. Uh, I just think they're a complete disaster. Yes. Is, are the New England Patriots great? Do we know who Mac Jones is? No. Is Bill Belichick okay without Tom Brady? No. But for me, it's just like I think that Arizona has no chance. And, of course, it doesn't matter that they're home. I mean, when in doubt, feed the Cardinals at home. Yeah. They tend to struggle there. For whatever reason, it, they tend to do well on the road and struggle at home. The, so. least, the least field advantage. Yeah, they don't have the home field advantage often. <laughs> I'm going with the Jets, Bills under 44. Both defenses top six in DVOA. Both defenses top 10 in pressure rate. Both defenses don't need to blitz to get pressure. Uh, And both defenses also top 10 in fewest explosive pass plays allowed. So uh, really like these defenses. Buffalo getting healthy. Tredavious White's back in the lineup. So that should help against Garrett Wilson. And there could also be some inclement weather in this one. So you got a late season December divisional game with some bad weather. Uh, give me the under since 2021. Outdoor divisional unders are 62, 38, and 1, 62 percent, including 26 and 11, 70 percent this season. Yeah, I still have that like part of my brain that can't take the unders with the Bills. I it just <laughs> it, the way they started the season, and I just feel I don't know. That's that's the very public side of me. <laughs> I am going to take the Cincinnati Bengals uh, minus six against the Cleveland Browns. Um, Deshaun Watson looked as rusty as you'd expect. Um, Cincinnati last week, I mean, I know, like, are the Chiefs as good as we think they are? Uh, I don't know, but but I think they're back now. I worried so much about the offensive line and Joe Burrow getting crushed, and he's got time, he's got people. I I am I am on the Cincinnati Bengals. What are they? They've won and covered uh, four straight in a row, four straight uh, since the 2000s, first time since the 2017 season. Uh, I'm on the Burrow train. I'm I'm back, um, and I think he's this is when he's heating up, and I think the team's good, and I I just don't have any respect for the other guys, so that's why I'm taking uh, minus six. Uh, Joe Burrow and the Bengals. What do you think about that one, Chris? I mean, he hasn't beat the Browns yet, but the Bengals yeah, are 17-3. I know, I know, I know. That's one of those history ones I throw spread. out. So, they, all they do is cover. So, if somebody does like the Browns, you might as well just take them on the money line because Cincinnati right. wins, they tend to cover. So, uh, can't fault you there. They're high. Uh, I'm going with the Carolina Panthers, plus three and a half for my third pick. 
Panthers defense allowing just under 13 points per game uh, and just under 282 total yards per game over their past three. They're 11th in defensive EPA per play since Steve Wilkes took over. You got J.C. Horn at corner, one of the best in the league, just a 38.3 passer rating against. So should be able to take care of one of Metcalf and Lockett. And on offense, all non-Baker Mayfield quarterbacks for the Panthers are averaging 6.6 net yards per pass compared to 5.3 for Mayfield. So I think the Panthers are a live dog here. And dogs by more than a field goal with a total 47 or less this year, 54 and 32, 63% against the spread. Give me Carolina. Why wouldn't you take, is this just because it's just, is is what it is, but why wouldn't you take the, the Seattle team total or something like that, the under? Because I think the Panthers total. can actually do some work on offense here. You know, okay. it, it's not necessarily, like Seattle's defense is bad if you haven't seen, I mean, <laughs> you know, the Rams with John Wolford were looking fairly competent out there, and the Raiders were just setting records the week before. So uh, the Seattle defense, not great. Yeah, no, I, I, I see that. I'm just I'm just one for, I don't know, it's like I've just discovered all these new <laughs> things because cause I just do, I've just been doing spreads forever and certainly totals forever. Uh, all right, that's going to do it, Chris, uh, for week 14. Five and five presented by BetMGM. We'll be back next week. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss our picks. Good luck to you, but not really because I want to. I want to get it even with you by the end of the season. Here. Oh, lofty goals, ambitious. Well, I see amb- I ambitious see goals. I think it's pretty clear that you shouldn't automatically fade me, as Stucky will learn. So.